see all the eggs oh, under the table. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, 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 yeah, she's a that row. So that's the next couple of years lost. Wow. Yeah, so generally every time we get a female with eggs, she broke her claw. we mark the second tail flipper from the right with a scar that identifies her as a breeding female. So once a female gets the scar, she gets thrown back year after year after year. Well, eventually, we have a lot of very large breeding females, which also need a similar size male to mate with. So we actually, not only do we have the minimum size, but there's a maximum size. The lobster can't be taken if it's over five inches. And this is, we only done, this is only the third or fourth time on a tour we've, had, we've done this. But it's the opposite. If the bottom point touches on the back, it's too big if it touches under the back. It's not too big. So even if this lobster didn't have any eggs, you'll see when I touch it down, that bottom point is way up on the back. So this has actually exceeded the maximum size. If this lobster wasn't oversized, what we would do is we'd take something sharp and we'd carve a scar on this flipper right here. But since she's already oversized, there's no need to do that. This lobster can never be taken. Look at how big that is, yeah. Yeah, amazing, huh? That's you, Jesse. <laughs> yeah. You guys will have to post yeah. those pictures on our Facebook page. Yeah, right. Yes, please yeah. do. But on a one pound female, they've counted up to 10,000 eggs. And on a lobster this size, there could be over 100,000 eggs. Yeah. A lot of eggs, my guy. Is that like a five pound lobster? This is probably a seven, like the I would say. We also sell back the oversized males because yeah, big females need. Pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna set her back in. She's probably like 20, 25 years old. Wow. How much does she weigh? I think about seven or eight pounds. I would say. All the girls actually.